Hi, I'm Colin Williams. I'm here at the 2016 Global Derivatives Conference. Um, I'm from D-Wave Systems, and I have here Sebastian Schlenkrick from Define. So, Sebastian, can you tell us about Define? Thank you very much. Um, yeah, Define is a consultancy company specialized in risk and finance, and we now have more than 550 consultants uh, working in this area, and I'm really happy to uh, talk to you here. Thank you. So, Sebastian, you're known for uh, smile and um, volatility modeling. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, well, smile and volatility modeling is uh, still a very important topic. And I think uh, one of the challenges which is are also discussed here in the conference are in particular the relation between realized and implied volatility. Um, Jessica James is uh, presenting on this topic, but also Ricardo Ribonato and uh, Jasper Andresen. And I think besides this point, I would say uh, still the generalizations and improvements of the Sabre model are still very, uh, very important uh, mm -hmm. aspects. Um, we have some very uh, interesting uh, talks by um, Patrick Hagen and also by Alexander Antonov, and I'm really looking forward uh, yeah. into these talks. So, Sebastian, can you tell us about the effects of negative interest rates on volatility and pricing? Yeah, I mean, the, uh, the main challenge is that you have the new quot quotations for implied volatilities. Um, you have, for example, lifted log, vol log volatilities or the normal volatilities, and these volatility quotations, first of all, need to be incorporated in the, uh, in the pricing and risk management systems. And then on the other hand side, you also have the new models evolving and um, they are obviously uh, discussed in the, uh, in the academics and in the uh, research community, but uh, these models, I would say, still need to find their way into the industry and uh, I think we will see whether they are adapted and how they are adapted in the industry. So Sebastian, can you tell us about uh, tenor basis on volatilities? Well, tenor basis or also funding basis is one aspect which uh, is usually associated with interest rates and with, uh, for example, swap pricing. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it also has an impact on, on uh, term structure models and thereby also on volatility modeling. For example, um, you, have, uh, you may have uh, quotes for options based on a three-month LIBOR, but uh, um, you want to have uh, some, uh, some prices for options based on six-month LIBOR, and when you want to transform this volatility data, you need to have some methodology in place which is able to also cope with the negative interest rates underlying these volatilities. Sebastian, can you tell us about volatility quotations and uh, risk management? Mm, well, I think the pricing is one aspect uh, in corp or is one aspect uh, tackled by the volatility modeling. But I think uh, the quotations of volatility also have a uh, uh, significant effect on, on risk management. I think this is an aspect which maybe sometimes be a little bit overlooked. And um, what we see is that, in particular, if uh, in a risk management system the quotations are changed from log normal to normal, then uh, the risk changes significantly. And I think this is an effect which needs to be kept in mind and which needs to be understood by the, uh, by the people involved. And well, the reason for this is obvious because it is based on different modeling assumptions but uh, you, you need to have this in mind and uh, it also should be taken into account. Well, Sebastian, thank you very much. Thanks for talking with us.